come to an edition at Erasi's uh, cooking center, April 27. What I'm going to do and present to you today is uh, what the Telugu is called Pampusi, and people in uh, the Telugu version call it the Papuri. Uh, you could do it with most legumes, but what I have chosen today is Chikurukai or Adarikai as it's called. I'm also using some great tea. The uh, dal that goes into it would be an equal quantity of tuvar dal and chana dal. Have them soaked in hot water for about an hour or two. I've taken one fourth of coconut, grated. I have methi, about three to four uh, bunches of methi that's got in the market. Will be about 10 red chilies. Into the mix goes red chilies, dried red chilies, uh, lila dough made from US that you can soak this in some water and use the water too. But that is because the red chilies that you get elsewhere is very hard. Over here the red chilies that you get by and large in India is quite tender. So I don't think they need to be soaked. Pulse the red chilies first. The reason why I get the red chilies done first is otherwise you will see larger flakes remaining at the time when you are grinding a paste of the dals. So now I take the equal portions of tuvar dal and chana dal, which I told you was half a cup, half a glass each. fourth of a regular coconut some turmeric powder to a steam. I'm not using the stopper. Let the steam go. Let the steam go up for about seven to eight minutes on medium flame. In the meanwhile, in another pan, I have finely chopped methi. I told you about three to four uh, bunches of this.
You now have a rough idea as how uh, cooked or steamed the tuber dal, chana dal mixes and also the beans. Now, the first thing I will do to this meat that has been fried is add You could always reduce the amount of the vegetable and have more of the dal or have more of the vegetable and less of the dal depending on your taste. This is a mixture where both of them are near equal. This does take an oil at various stages. Even now we could take it a little more. Ensure that the flame is low. Now for the tarka. Some dal. Jeera. Mustard. A liberal helping of he. For those of you who don't like him, you can skip this. And finally, some curry leaves.
I am using a non-stick tawa, but if you have one which is the usual kadai, you can do it in that. And also the, the one that gets darkened has a separate taste of its own. People have a special liking to it, so you can use it. Before I sign off today, my first acknowledgements are to possibly a company that's making uh, face masks that help people travel during the period of coronavirus. Uh, its managing director and my good friend Ayappa Nagubandi gifted me with the mask that I wore in the beginning, completely made indigenously at his center. Also thanks to cameraman, director and my dictator uh, back here, uh, Datu, a lot of gratitude to Ritika for getting me the proportions right, for helping me with all this. Datu also to be associated with the environ and the ambience that is created for the event. In preparation, thanks also to uh, Abhinav. I will fail if I don't thank Sai for uh, permitting me to use a part of his genius music as a part of the backdrop. Thank you all. Come back tomorrow for a fresh visit at this uh, center and to watching a new recipe. So long, stay safe, bye-bye.